vlog. Today is a bit of a all over the place again, in and out, in and out. But I wanted to talk about yesterday, my neighbors woke up and their car had been stolen. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, this isn't the first time something's happened around here either. The last time it was about, well, about like five, six months ago now and someone was actually going through all the cars, opening the doors, taking all the stuff out of it in the middle of the night and like it's just really scary that they've done it again and they've actually gone and taken it and my friend who lives down the other side of the road hers was actually broken into and the stuff was taken out and then they've scratched it so it's i'm very very thankful that ours were not even touched like there's no sign of anything on them my neighbor has cctv but it wasn't clear enough to get who it was which is so frustrating but it's made me think now that I think we need to start being a bit more sensible with things. I think we need to actually, you know, invest in some sort of CCTV. And it's horrible to say because it's such a nice area that I don't even see why things like that have even happened. But it just makes you a bit more wary of what's going on outside. Thanks, princess. So I've had a look online and I like the look of Ring. Have you seen it? They do doorbells, but they also do these like floodlight CCTVs and you can set the perimeter of where you want it. I'm hoping that maybe you can do it on a timer as well because I don't really want like floodlights happening out the front at like, you know, like five o'clock when it's not needed. But I don't know. It's tempting to, to just be a bit more safe, if that makes sense. So I think that might be the plan of action of something to do, which is so disappointing because they're really expensive too. But I think that's the way we're gonna have to do it. Thanks, Ella. So this morning I have some orders to make, so I'm gonna go in my cupboard now, make two more frames, and then I'm thinking about doing a video as well because I was kindly given another woof woof box, and I'm so excited to see what's in it. I'm actually winning today, so I'm feeling pretty good. All I've got to do now is stick it on the frame. How cute are these? Birthday frames. Love it. Um, so we've got an Anne and a Caroline today. Who's 60? You're not 60, you're 50. Caroline, you are 60. Say hi, everybody. Okay. Da, 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 da. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> if you are wondering, yes, these are available to be posted to you. We do them in blue, pink, silver. I think I might be able to do a red one. And we can have any age, any name on them. And just send me a message. They're £19 with postage. I guess. Hold on. Oh, sorry. He just filled up our phone. Oh, right. You can't touch it. I'm sorry. I guess I'm water on your hand oh. and I get burn. Oh, there we go. It's gone. Don't do it like that. No. Just do it with a towel. to Zumba I get so annoyed with my like past self like I always put my shoes in knots and I fling them off I've got five minutes to get there and it's always a knot <laughs> good morning so me and Ella have already been out today to Aldi pick up our shopping so that Aldi haul will be going on maybe it's already on <laughs> Uh, today I'm literally just having breakfast now and catching up with Seven Worlds One Planet. I can't remember what it was supposed to be this week. Wasn't it Africa or something like that? Jesus, have you watched this week's Seven Worlds One Wonder? These balls. Look at them. They've got bloody noses and everything. They're headbutting each other at full speed. 
Oh my goodness, it's giving me goosebumps watching. Oh. <laughs> they literally went head on and you could see like the reaction go through all their fair. Just got myself in a right mess. Can't really see it now. My whole wrist was white. <laughs> I'll show you why. Hopefully, what day are we? Tuesday. If I can get it up, it'll be Friday's video. It's quite exciting. I've been dying to do it for a long, long time. And I finally got the stuff to do it. So, anyway, that was a right mess and the paint won't come off. Oh. I looked like I was wearing a glove. It was that white, my whole hand. Oh, my nan's ringing. Catch you in a minute. So starting the day in the bathroom today and I woke up with a huge circle on the windowsill. Massive black circle on the windowsill and it will not budge. It's not even raised, I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna give it a go with some pink stuff, see if we can get it off, fingers crossed, because that's gonna ruin it otherwise. Mm. Boy, that was a tough one to get out. Thank God it's gone. Oops, the daisies. I have no idea what it was, but I won't be doing that again, whatever it is. Right, off to get changed. <laughs> January is going to be the best time for my channel because Ella is in full-time nursery, which means that instead of me getting up and playing and making breakfast and getting juices and then going to play with someone else and then the dolly house and then the teddy bears and things like that, I can actually sit down and every morning and get a video done. <gasps> raisins for that. um and get a video like filmed or edited or planned anything like that i'm going to be able to do it much much easier in january so whatever stress i'm feeling now all i've got to keep thinking is january it's going to be so much better for me so that is what i'm going with i want to get another two mm. ella is very excited as well because her car seat is all ready to go in the car isn't it exciting and I'm hoping that we can go and see Frozen in the cinema yeah. with Elsa and Anna. Yeah. Would you like to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that, that is so crazy. Fun. Yes. <laughs> so this morning me and Ella went to pick up her car seat that will be going in Nana's car because Nana always has a spare set of car seats for both of the kids. So now Ella is in the bigger seat She's got a new one of them. Wait, did you say We've that? We've got Wallace and Gromit going on. My dad's a big rabbit. Big rabbit? Yeah. The curse of the were rabbit. Ella is feeling very poorly today. She went to school and she was fine and then she's come home and she can't stop coughing at all. Mm. So we've had a bit of cough medicine, haven't we? Yeah. And it hasn't helped. So we're going to see how we are because I think it's going to be a very you restless night. You guys cough. You have. <coughs> like this. And it's kind of like a like a wispy cough. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. I hope she's not coming down with anything. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm trying to get Ash to buy us a Domino's for dinner tonight because one of them little leaflets came through the post this morning and I was like, oh, that's it, I need a Domino's, got to have some pizza. We are supposed to be having pizza anyway, but that came through and you get like the whole package, like the drink, uh, the garlic bread, the chips and things like that. And I was like, yeah, I kind of need a Domino's now rather than a pound pizza from Morrison's. <laughs> I'm very excited now. None of the kids are interested, but our Domino's has arrived. So I'm going to get it all out, ready to just dive in. This smells so good. One of is a red box and a blue box. Can I give it to Daddy? Okay, come and get your din dins. What? Yum. Look how yummy this looks. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Tunes on Radio 1 today. We're straight off out. Miles has got a party. Who's excited? Hey. It's a Nerf gun party, so that's pretty cool. There is also a Christmas market on just down the road, so we're going to be heading off to that as well. My mum's got a stall there, so that'll be nice to see. And what else are we doing today? Oh, we're getting stones. Hopefully, we'll be getting the stones for the front garden too. Because we still need four bags. <sighs> Ten bags down the line, we still need more. But never mind. That will get it all finished. And then we don't have to worry about the front garden anymore. I just need to do a few weeds because it's a bit, a bit yucky out there. Just a bit. 
and then hopefully this afternoon Dad's gonna put the Christmas lights up. Sound good? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'll meet you when we get to the Christmas market. Just follow the music, I guess. <laughs> Keeping everybody roasty toasty. Anyway, let's go find Mum. Where is she? Oh, with the reindeer yeah. around us. Yeah, yeah. I found Mum's stall. Oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Look at my stall. It's crazy. Hey, <laughs> crazy. Which one? Which one? Um. Oh. Bracelet or something? That one. That one is. This, Try one. this one. This one. That's no, this one. We've got that one, Nana oh, you've said. Got that one. Oh, we don't want the same. No, we're going to open this one this Can time. Can you go for that one? Yeah. Wow. What is it? Hey. A key ring. Oh, that one. So cool. You can stand up. Yeah. Christmas colouring, advent calendars. Look all the animals! Wow! Woo woo! Where are you going, Christmas train? I got this dinosaur! Is it a dinosaur? I think it's like an orange zebra. It's not. No? Oh, very cool. Hold on tight. Well, that was a bit mad. Mum was a bit stressed, so I had to help out on her table for a bit. Managed to make her about 40 quid, so that was good. <laughs> and then someone accidentally knocked the table and like loads of frames fell down the back. Some of them are cracked, so it's not too good. Um, but I'm not working today, so it's okay for me. <laughs> I'm off to the, uh, they got a big tent, so I'm gonna have a look what's inside there. So hopefully it's a bit more Christmassy, because the inside stuff's like, Market, not really Christmas. Oh, I see giant candy canes. That's so cool. Look at the giant candy cane. Oh, this is a bit Christmassy. Woohoo! That was dancing away. <laughs> you like this song? <laughs> Strawberry and rose jam. Yummy! I got an Instagram. You do! And you pass the money like a big girl! Yeah. Right, back in the car. So Ella is very excited because she got a gingerbread man. <laughs> the outside was much better than the inside. I mean, on the inside, it seemed like Mum's stall, maybe two more, the one at the entrance, was like Christmas themed. The rest of them were just books or clothes or things like that. So it was a bit disappointing on the inside. I just felt like you had to like whiz around it a bit. The outside had the music going, the mulled wine, the smells. It just felt a lot more Christmassy and people were actually selling Christmas stuff. So I definitely enjoyed the outside better than the inside. Um, so now we're gonna go pick up Miles and then we're gonna go put our Christmas lights up. That's the plan. Why have I got a red mark there? Right, let's go. Right, it's a lot later on. The lights are finally up. The ladder snapped in two. Had to borrow the neighbours. Came in. Ella had now put puncture marks in our blinds. So I got a bit upset. Not gonna lie. Um, right, we're on the tidy down now. Getting everything back in. Getting everybody's cutting shoes off. And I've just put the oven on, ready to cook our leftover pizza. I think we just need a chilled out afternoon. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Sorry it's not on a positive one. Do you know what? I'm gonna make it a positive one. I'm gonna show you the lights. Are the lights switched on outside, Ash? Yeah. Let's go. We've got our Santa here. Excuse the S and half the T. For some reason they're not working. We've got our pretty sparkly ones here. 
other one set up at the top of it. So that is a positive way to end the weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye!